Hi, I'm Dave Iker and welcome to the universe. A growing number of people believe that Earth is flat. How can that be? Stay tuned for the real reality show. A growing number of people apparently believe Earth is flat. This was a pretty common belief until Eratosthenes came along about 250 BC. So aside from being 2200 years behind the times, what's with these people? There are lots of ways that you can prove Earth is a sphere and that it's orbiting the sun in a three-dimensional solar system. First, how about floating on the International Space Station for a while? Oh, not an astronaut? You can even watch the live feed from the station on your own computer. Or you could repeat Eratosthenes' experiment. Plant two sticks in the ground and measure the length of their shadows simultaneously. And place them far apart. Eratosthenes used the distance between Syene and Alexandria, about 800 kilometers. The shadows measure different lengths at the same moment in time because Earth is round. Or observe the moon. When it is eclipsed or eclipses the sun, that's because it's orbiting Earth and Earth is orbiting the sun, and all three are spheres. You could also see ships emerge slowly as they travel at sea, rising above the horizon. Again, that demonstrates Earth's curvature. How about the fact that you see greater distances on Earth from higher elevations? Again, this simple experiment shows Earth's curvature. This stuff is not rocket science, folks. Even if you fly in a plane, you can overtly see Earth's curvature. This works well on, say, a transatlantic flight at high elevation. Earth's center of gravity shows it to be spherical, too. And that dates back to Newton and his laws of gravitation. Oh, wait, these people haven't even caught up with the Greeks, let alone Newton. The existence of time zones also demonstrates Earth's curvature. When it's dark in China, it's midday in Manhattan, and the sun is straight up. Again, this is because Earth is a sphere and rotating on its axis, and being lit from the sun at 93 million miles distance. You could also observe the universe. Some of us actually do this. Seeing the planets orbiting our sun in our solar system is pretty good evidence that ours is very much like theirs. And finding thousands of other planets in other systems orbiting their stars is also pretty suggestive. Also, the constellations in the sky differing as you move away from the equator is more evidence of Earth's curvature. And the list goes on and on and on. The fact that humans are sentient and can think deeply about the universe around us doesn't make it a requirement. But perhaps it should be on social media. I'll see you next time on The Real Reality Show.